Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I want to share with you my thoughts on poisonous fruit. And for that I'm standing here in the Heidelberg Botanic Garden in the Zolanesi section. Solanaceae are a very important family for mankind, stuff like potatoes and tomatoes and peppers come from this family, but also a ton of poisonous plants like the deadly nightshade here. That's why the Solanaceae family is also called the nightshade family. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of videos on toxic fruits, some of them I even try. Well, you should never do this, folks. Never eat toxic fruit or never eat unknown fruit. Eat only fruit you know for sure and you know for sure that they are edible. Or eat fruit if a reliable source tells you that they are good to eat. Don't eat random stuff and definitely don't eat stuff you know is toxic to any extent. Yeah, I had my history of fruit poisoning. Actually, once when I was like three or four years, my grandmother cracked for me a lot of almonds, which my uncle had foraged in the wild. And because she considered those wild foraged almonds so valuable, she didn't eat a single one. She gave them all to me. I started eating them, realized that part of them were horribly bitter, but I was too embarrassed to spit them out. Yeah, I was a really tidy little child. Until finally she asked me what's going on and I told her, yeah, some of them are bitter. Then she said, spit out the bitter ones. But she just said it, yeah, don't let the, the kid eat the horrible bitter almonds. I guess she didn't know how toxic they are. I guess she didn't know that just seven or eight of those bitter almonds could have killed, could have easily killed a child my age. That's why in some countries they are being sold only in packages of five bitter almonds. This was my first conscious experience with toxic fruit. Later I got poisoned by some air yams, which I thought were a fruit and ate. Later, especially in Borneo, I got a couple poison ivy relatives, which basically burnt off my lips and gave me trouble for many days. So eating toxic fruit is no joke. If you do it, you might suffer. Now for some of my videos, I just try some fruit I don't know or some fruit which I know that are toxic and usually I spit them out. And I'm... Um, reasonably healthy, reasonably large, reasonably middle-aged man, so I can actually take uh, quite a dose of some toxins, which doesn't mean that you should try it, even if you are a healthy middle-aged man. But, of course, for little children, they are usually much more in danger because smaller bodies needs, uh, need much smaller amounts of toxic fruit. Also, they react different to some toxins. Also, if you are in a survival situation, some people say, yeah, definitely find some food. But if I eat a little bit of a toxic fruit and have some slight symptoms and I'm here on the Heidelberg University campus, lots of hospitals around me, lots of places where I can get food, can get shelter, can get water. So most of those cases of fruit poisoning will be a lot more mild than if I'm somewhere in the wild in a survival situation. I'm probably half starved, dehydrated, maybe have hypothermia. I'm very tired, have a lot of stress. Then even a slight poison, even uh, something which gives you a little bit of stomach ache or, make, or makes you throw up valuable liquid and valuable nutrients that were in your stomach, or just gives you a sore throat or itchy lips will be an additional problem which you don't need in this situation. So if you're in a survival situation and you don't know about wild plants. You're not an expert of foraging wild plants. Just stay off all those plants because a lot of the stuff is poisonous and even stuff which is normally not poisonous can give you some slight symptoms which in a survival situation will just make your trouble much worse. 
Okay, folks, those were my thoughts on toxic fruit. I will continue carefully trying toxic fruit for those videos, but please don't copy me. Don't eat any of those fruit which are here in the frame right now. They are all quite toxic. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens and botanic gardens of Heidelberg. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.